This is Mike from ECS. Going to give you a brief introduction to using a Jeffran 40B96 with a linear potentiometer to measure distance. As you can see, right now we're set up in millimeters. Uh, we're at fully inserted, so we're at zero. As we extend the linear pot, we go out to the range of the linear pot, 225 millimeters. It's really quite simple. Wiring this up, if you take a look at the wiring back here, the AC power goes to these two terminals, marked power. The linear pot itself, the wiper, the changing voltage of the pot, this number two wire goes to the plus of the input. The two negatives are jumpered together and you take the other two wires uh, to the excitation voltage. If you reverse these wires, it would measure up instead of down or down instead of up. You also have three relays which could be used to turn on a light to allow you to you know, have a visual display or alarm if you need to. As I mentioned, the potentiometer is 225 millimeters. Let me show you how that was set up in this instrument. Press and hold on the F key until you get to the IN menu, which stands for input. The relevant input parameters, first is type, zero is for linear potentiometer. DP is decimal point. We put one decimal point after we gave you one digit after the decimal point. Low scale at minus 0.1. I needed to do this to get it to zero out 100%. High scale is 225. Again, we have this set up for millimeters. And those are the relevant input parameters. Output, as I mentioned, there are three relay outputs. And in our case, we just have them all set up as essentially high alarm relays. If you need to do some fine tweaking of the distance or of the measurement uh, because of a bracket or something at the end of the potentiometer, that would be done in the user calibration. To get to the user calibration, you press and hold on the F key until you reach PA, which stands for password. The default password is 99. Press and hold on the F key until you get to UC. For a potentiometer, you put in the number two. CL is the low limit calibration. So we're fully inserted. So let's press F, press and release. To do the full length calibration, we extend the rod, press and release F, and that calibrates it at the full, full length. You can see we press and hold down in the F key to get back to the main display. So again, here we see very simple 225 to 0, 0 to 225 length. To set the alarms, that set press and release the F key. This is the first alarm, which I have set to 200. Second alarm and third alarm are set to 225. And again, as this is extended and reaches 200, that alarm will go off, that relay will close. In this case, if we had 225, the other two relays close as well. They're non-latching, so as you go back, they simply open back up. And those values can be changed. Again, here at 01, you can change them to anything you want. So again, at a certain point, if you wanna another light, an audible alarm, anything to come on, you could utilize those relays to do that. Press and hold on the F key, or just letting a timeout gets you back to the main display. And that's all there's to it.